I've been shopping and I have actually last of my Sephora haul here finally I mean it arrived some time ago but boy did it take forever to get here finally they're here so I have that stuff like the tail end of my massive insane epic Sephora haul you guys saw the videos I had part one and part two check them out if you missed them and then I have like the new Sol de Janeiro perfume mist I have the latest release uh, perfume releases from House of Siage the the Harry Potter, uh, something from that collection. I have a Dior uh, Privé line beauty here. Oh, I have Chanel. I have I bought a bunch of Chanel stuff. I have a lot of gems here in this haul, so keep on watching. Hi, my lovely people. Welcome back to another fabulous beauty video. Happy Mother's Day! Before I get started with this video, I'm of course filming this before Mother's Day. Today on Mother's Day, I'll be out with my family celebrating Mother's Day. We have a bunch of really wonderful plants. Actually, I'm going to be vlogging some of it and including in an upcoming vlog, so stay tuned. Before I share all the amazing stuff I bought, all the beauty products, the, the fragrances that I bought, I wanted to share with you a couple of amazing fragrances from Dossier. Dossier has partnered with me in this video, so I want to share a couple of my latest, you know, additions from Dossier to my collection. As you know, Dossier is a uh, inspired by fragrance house where they make, you know, more affordable fragrances inspired by expensive designer and niche fragrances from niche and designer luxury houses so that's what they do and they use quality ingredients they come from the same place as those expensive brands from class fonts and this one right here you guys is fruity honey it's inspired by joe malone's nectarine blossom and honey this one really intrigued me because i don't think i would ever buy the original uh, first of all i don't like joe malone because well i don't love a lot of it i just don't like the ones in red bottles and black bottles because they're more concentrated because their fragrances are colognes for the price that you buy them it's a cologne strength you know like it's the lowest level you know what i mean you get what i mean it's not even eau de, eau de parfum um it should be eau de parfum on tons or extract the parfum for the price that joe malone charges you with customers but anyway so this one is fruity honey this is inspired by like i said the joe malone scent um i'm gonna assume this is gonna smell like a very beautiful honeyed <sighs> citrus and yes it does nectarine is a citrus that has a particular uh, juicy citrusness about it it's not like bergamot or any other sharp ones it's very kind of syrupy and almost like juicy you know oh yeah and i can smell that honeyed under you know the nuance underneath um so obviously this has in the card of course it tells you the notes it's black currant green leaves honey nectarine peach and vetiver yes i can smell all those things um i bet the original has exactly the same notes or very close this smells beautiful and to to me this is the same strength as the very expensive jo malone version to me, actually, buying uh, Jo Malone, um, you know, inspired by fragrances from a place like Dossier is a better deal because you're actually paying Dossier what you should be paying Jo Malone in the first place, like for Colonia uh, strength, concentration, right? This is really pretty, you guys. This is a very pretty summertime scent, very like summery, juicy, bursting juice fragrance, you know? Like it, like it a lot. Next one is also from Dossier. This is Louis Vuitton Limon Cité is the fragrance that this is inspired by. I think this one leans masculine. Um, I wanted to get this to see if I like this for my husband. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, this actually goes both ways. Mmm, I can imagine. I believe I've smelled this in Louis Vuitton boutique once or twice, actually, I remember now. Yeah, this smells quite similar, very nice. This has ginger, grapefruit, um, marine notes. It's very kind of like, kind of refreshing too with that marine notes, kind of like ambergris kind of feeling. And this has uh, clary sage, rosemary, geranium, amber wood, um, and then cistes uh, flower, which is like labdanum with a little bit of leather nuance, you know? Yeah, this is definitely going to smell amazing on my husband, but I can see some of my lovelies who love a, you know, stronger, like leather kind of sexy fragrances. You might like this on yourselves too. You know, whenever there's leather involved, you guys, sexiness, luxuriousness. I'm giving this to my husband. I think this is gonna smell amazing on him. Yeah, I, I can remember, yeah, this smells very similar to the original. Dossier always makes, you know, very close, inspired by fragrances, so you don't have to drop the big bucks on the originals if you don't feel like it. All right, now for the amazing haul, all the stuff that I bought, I will start with the first fragrance that I bought that I cannot wait to talk to you about. It is this beauty right here. It's from House of Siage. It is from the Harry Potter collection. It's Hufflepuff. So when I saw the Harry Potter collection, I was like, come on, you know? I'm like, another collection, Harry Potter, really? Like, you know, I wasn't all that excited about it. I got the Hufflepuff fragrance out of the several Harry Potter houses, of course. So this is the one that I was uh, really intrigued by and I wanted to add to my collection. Obviously, the beautiful cupcakes, which I, you know, we all love and adore. This one, you guys, smells so good. This is a compliment getter already, I can tell you. I haven't really worn it that much, like once or twice, but it is a compliment getter and I can see why. First of all, I love the yellow cupcake. I don't have a cupcake this color. I don't have any that many yellow bottles either. This I love this. And actually Hufflepuff wouldn't be wouldn't have been the house that I was interested in if you were to ask me which house I would like the most. I would say Gryffindor, you know. That's the one I would have would have bought. But when I read up notes and everything, it Further convinced me, I was more convinced to buy this one. You know, this is a really gorgeous gourmet fragrance. And I really just wanted to try this one because I heard oh, so many good things about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. I'm gonna spray it on my hand. Like I said, I promise you guys to spray it on myself or my clothes, not on blotter cards. As much as I can help, you know. Holy yumminess, okay? Oh my goodness, this fragrance smells so delicious, okay? This smells like something you want to eat. Like, this is one of those fragrances that when you wear it, people would want to take a bite out of you. Have you, do you have those type of fragrances in your collection where like, you literally get this like urge to like, you know, take a ch chunk out of the person wearing it? This is that fragrance, okay? This smells absolutely delicious. Obviously, a lot of vanilla I can tell already, which is what makes any fragrance, you know, delicious. That's where the deliciousness begins. And then you have this beautiful lemoniness, like almost like a lemon custard feeling from the lemon, Italian lemon that's in here. There's peach in here, like I think it's peach pulp, that juicy peach note. But what I can smell the most is that coconut cream accord. So mixed with the vanilla, this is not just like your coconut note, this is like a coconut cream like accord. It's very creamy coconut mixed with that vanilla. It's very delicious, you guys, and very summer appropriate too. It's like a very summertime appropriate gourmet fragrance. Um, this has some bug jasmine, some white freesia, gardenia, some gorgeous white florals thrown into the mix too. And that bourbon vanilla, wow, that's what's so delicious. 
some vanilla bean too and uh, woody notes in here oh my gosh okay so the woody notes are very almost unnoticeable what makes this really delicious is that coconut cream with the vanilla that's what I smell the most and it's this creamy delicious sweet coconutty cream dessert that vanilla is like the number one according here the what you smell the most so beautiful this is delicious and it's got nice scent bubble it's got decent projection siage and yes it's a compliment getter i've already gotten a compliment and i've only worn it twice and then of course i got a beautiful goodie or two from the christian dior boutique at you know the shopping center i go to so these are what i got right here you guys so i have this right here this is the one of the Privé line fragrances i love this box with the with the whole you know animal print so i already broke the seal open and here they are what i got from the the uh, counter i got some gift with precious too right here is the fragrance that I got. This is Sakura from the Dior Privé line. I've wanted to add this now for a while. You guys know I have a massive Dior Privé line collection. I've done a collection video. Check it out, I'll link it up here and down in the description box. This wasn't there, obviously, when I, um, when I did that review, but okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it so I sprayed Hufflepuff here, so I'm gonna spray this one there. This is, as you know, a cherry blossom fragrance. Sakura in Japanese is the word for cherry blossom. So here we go. Mm, this is a very beautifully feminine fragrance, you guys. This screams spring okay when i smell this i can just picture myself strolling down the potomac you know past all the beautiful cherry blossoms oh my gosh here in dc by the way um this is absolutely beautiful it's a very delicate feminine cherry blossom fragrance as i said this, you guys, is a very powdery feminine fragrance. This has got quite a bit of that delicate, kind of like soft, uh, scented, you know, powder, face powder kind of scent, you know, like a makeup, luxury makeup brand powder. Um, that kind of delicate scent, that like beautiful, delicate, powdery scent. This has got a little bit of greenness to it that's really perfect. Ah, oh, this has got jasmine, I think like um, Hideon and Rose and... Do I smell Lily of the Valley? I don't know, I think I smell uh, Mimosa for sure. Because that sparkling, you know, cleanness of Mimosas here and that powderiness comes from probably a little bit of iris but also violet so very powdery and musky of course a good dose of musk as well it's beautiful cherry blossomy powdery almost like a delicate feminine face powder that smells like cherry blossom you know with that sexy musk that gives it a little bit of an edge i also got the matching body cream of course this is the sakura body cream this is like the thick emollient thick. There, there are two versions there's the lotion and then there's the thick emollient of course luxurious body butter the body cream of course is what i go for um look at that richness of that beautiful Ooh, it's so and it smells just like the fragrance it's beautiful very delicate very feminine and cannot wait to wear this um i want to get belle de too you guys at some point that's probably going to be the last 
of the Dior Privé line fragrances that I add to my collection unless of course they come up with new and even better ones in the future. Okay, now I'm gonna get into my Sephora haul, the rest of my Sephora haul, you guys. So my goodness, can you guess, can you guess? I, of course, bought more of the YSL Candy Gloss or Candy Glaze lipsticks. Okay, here's the first one. This actually I already used. As you can tell, this is a nudie color, you guys. I wanted a nudie one uh, from this beautiful Candy Gate Glaze. Do you see that? That looks like glass on your lips. It's a, essentially a, a gloss in a stick a very high shine gloss and a stick. Now this is the balm uh, version. So this is also from YSL, the one I'm wearing. Where is it? Okay, so this is what I'm wearing today. I already showed you this guy, this earlier. This is a different line, the balm um, version of it. This is the candy glaze, which is the more kind of gloss and a stick. And then I got another shade. So that one, I'll put all these shade names down in the description box check out my description box as always I haven't worn this one yet so this one is more of a kind of orangey terracotta gorgeous beauty look at that you guys that's gonna look so sexy on my lips this summer these are perfect for the summer those juicy lips oh yes baby give me more so I got two more of those now I have all together yikes like eight I think and I just ordered three more from the YSL online sale that they're having right now by the way if you missed the Sephora sale I'll link down there the YSL discount code and all that stuff check the description box okay and then I got some more lip products right here so this is one that I really wanted to talk to you guys about so this these are the Tom Ford liquid lip Lux matte uh, formula oh my gosh these are so good you guys this one is sexy this color right here I believe it's like this is what is it called a vixen or something like that I'll link it all down in the description box check it out you have to get this shade you guys if you get it this looks so sultry like a hot vixen this is very thin but it's a beautiful matte formula it's kind of like a velvet matte and it goes on just you know and the lips look like full pout and like very sexy yeah so yeah check it out this is another color I got this I again I don't remember the color names I'll link all that in the description box so here's the other color so this one is more plummy and this one is more like blue red um, that vixen color this is called like vixen or something I cannot remember it <sighs> something like that um, anyway, amazing, highly recommend, highly, 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 highly recommend. Now I'm going to finish up the makeup items and I'm going to get quickly into the body care stuff. You guys want to stay tuned for that. Um, so this one is the Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray by, what is it, Milk Makeup. So this is the travel size because it kept selling out. See, this was hugely hyped, okay? So yeah, I fell for the hype and I wanted to check it out to see if it's any good. So first of all i gotta tell you i do not like the atomizer the spray because it spits it out in big droplets it's not a nice continuous like mist like I, I like you know um some of the ones that i really like have that sort of mist this one kind of spits on the face which again i don't really love that part about it it does make the makeup last all day i will say that about it but it's definitely not the best um like the mist i need to test it out a little bit longer so far it hasn't blown my mind i'm not really certain the hype is that real on that one and then i got this right here the dior backstage the concealer that I love you guys know I rave about this I don't want to like be going over this too much this is like butter okay butter 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 it's just the right thickness it's not very thick at all it's very thin but very full coverage doesn't settle into fine lines yada yada the whole nine yards one of the two best concealers 
out there right now. Here is the next best one. Of course, I got these from the Pat McGrath sale that was going on. I think it's over now. If not, I mean, I'll link all the information down in the description box. Check it out, you guys. So I got these Pat McGrath concealers from that sale. You guys know I rave about this. I'm going to breeze right through with these. I'm not going to spend too much time here. And this is the next amazing concealer that I absolutely love. Similar consistency, very thin, but very high coverage. And it really rescues your under eyes. I'm not wearing either one of them today. I've been running around all day, so I look a little oily. But anyway, I didn't have time to worry about my appearance uh, for the video. So yeah, these are amazing concealers, you guys lightweight and you know no creasing very thin very full coverage covers everything brightens under eyes yada 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 so that was one of the shades so i got two of them see here's the the other shade from pat mcgrath that i got so here's the two pat mcgraths over here so yeah i got a couple of shades one more peachy one more yellow undertones so then I got this right here. This is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Deo um, deodorant. Um, I'm not going to open this. This actually smells, I already smelled this in store. This, um, I don't open this because I already have a deodorant open. This smells exactly like the, this line, the, the, the Bomb Dia Bright kind of line. It smells exactly like that. And these Sol de Janeiro deodorants, they really work well. They don't have any of those harmful ingredients like aluminum and all that. It's all that free. It also works, you know, a lot of the times when it's like aluminum free and stuff like, you know, and more natural, it, it, they don't work. But this one, they do. I have the Bomb Bomb version of the deodorant. It's not called the Bomb Bomb children you know like the yellow one i have that and it smells exactly like the boom boom cream and it works so well so i'm very excited to use this when i'm finished with my deodorant right now this right here this is super goop lip screen sheer sunscreen lip balm this has spf 30 and i already wore this uh, of, of course it's gonna have that sunscreen taste if it gets on your lips but I've been wanting to get a sunscreen lip balm, you know, for when I like go to the beach or spend uh, like all day outside and you know, it's really good to protect your lips too, you guys. I mean, your lips age just as much as the rest of the skin, like the, you know, skin on your face. So it's a good idea to use sunscreen in your lip balm too. So this is a very clear lip balm, obviously, on days that I'm not wearing any makeup. This actually does work. It's very moisturizing, gets the job done. It's kind of like a gel formula, kind of gel-ish, like gel in a stick kind of formula. So kind of excited about that. And then I got this one right here. Uh, this is a contour. Is it? It's supposed to be a bronzer, I think, but it works as a contour more like for me. This is the Tower 28 Sculptino, I think. But anyway, it's... A lot of people I heard saying uh, or comparing this to the Tom Ford, the uh, Shade and Illuminate uh, contour, the cream contour. I don't know what people are talking about. Um, not really. There's no really like that close of a comparison. It's not that close to like Tom Ford contour, the cream contour. But I see where they're getting it from, kind of, you know. Um, so this is actually a contour, not a bronzer. You know, it's a cool color that creates shading. Really good product, actually. I already used it, I, I like it. Highly recommend it blends well and everything. And then I got this Tom Ford foundation. This is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick, and this is highly regarded uh, on YouTube, um, but it didn't work for me, you guys. So this is, I love Tom Ford uh, foundations. I actually have like the, you know, like the latest one they released, Shade and Illuminate Liquid one with the SPF 50. Love it. It's perfect. It's like the kind of foundation I absolutely love. Foundation sticks haven't ever really worked for me because I have like, you know, like oily combination, acne prone kind of skin. And this did not work for me. It felt greasy on my skin. I wear shade number 7.2, I think, sepia. This was a little bit kind of greasy on me. It 
I didn't like the way it sat on my face. I felt the foundation on my face. It was a little slippery, slidey a bit. I feel like it had to be set. But I do love other Stamford foundations, the liquid ones. This is a restock item. I had to get uh, my Bi Bifacil Lancome eye makeup remover. If you are on the market for an eye makeup remover, this is the best. You have to shake it a little bit because the oil will settle in the bottom. This removes every stubborn, you know, waterproof or whatever. Like the stub most stubborn eye makeup ever. This is the only one that works 100% well. I've tried everything under the sun. Just take my word for it. And then I got this right here by Pat McGrath from her um, sale that she had going on. There was one point when she released this Star Wars collection. People were like, you know, fighting each other to get these. I wasn't one of them. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. And because I never really watched that many. I've only like watched one Star Wars movie, I think. But anyway, I should watch more. I got this because it was the only one on sale. I would have preferred the regular version of this. So this is the Mothership uh, 6, I think, Midnight Sun. Um, I never got this palette. I have almost all of her palettes except this one and one other. Gosh, I don't remember what the other one is. You know, I love Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. You get these like special shades, I call them. They're the astro colors or whatever she calls them. Um, yeah, they are amazing, amazing, amazing. I love them. I call them her special shades. They, like this one, look at that. I mean, that's absolutely stunning. And as you know, her satin formula, her shimmer formula, her matte formula, it's very silky. Like, her eyeshadow formulas, some of the best, you know, out there. And then I got these, um... Armani blushes from the new Luminous Silk blush collection. I believe like Sephora had four colors and I have two out of the four that Sephora had. So here are my two colors. I will link all this down below. I don't remember the shade names. Um, so this one is like that pinky powder pink one that goes on almost like that Dior backstage pink one kind of almost but this is very silky very blendable I thought it looked amazing almost kind of like uh, there's a sheen to it almost I really love this one I already wore this one and here is a coral kind of shade the kind of orangey peachy coral one this is gonna look amazing too um, this is a great great formula highly recommend it if you haven't tried them they are like butter they have this sort of sheen to it that just, I don't know, gives this youthful glow. Also from Pat McGrath's sale, again, this is that Star Wars packaging. But they were the only one on sale right now. Um, this is uh, her Dark Star Mascara. That There's no comparison to Dark Star Mascara in my collect, uh, opinion. Vol gives volume and lengthens all at the same time. It's one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. And then I also got, I'm not going to spend too much time here. This is the Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil. I got a backup of it. This is more like a, a restock item, you know. Um, this, this is like a backup. I love this because it has such you know like a fine tip and you can mimic like that hairline strokes really well with this it's my favorite brow pencil to date nothing has beaten it go to my homepage and check it out so then i got this lip balm from um pharmacy this is the something smoothie something lip balm this is uh, highly rated. This apparently has like vitamin C and peptides, by the way, vitamin C and peptides. So I'm excited to use this. This has a light fruity scent. This was highly rated on Sephora. I'm running out of my lip balm that I have out right now. So I want to try this. I'll update you guys on this in like a YouTube short or something. Then I have like these body care products, you guys, that you really need to know about. I'm very excited to tell you about these right here. So this is from the brand Isle of Paradise. Whoa, where they have they been all my life. You guys remember that I did my um, fruity body care and perfume layering combinations video. And then I also did a pineapple one at one point, like pineapple fragrances and body care layering. 
And in that, those videos, I always keep, keep telling you, oh, I wish that, you know, one of the really good brands made a pineapple smelling body wash. Only one I could find was like that uh, Bath and Body Works one, which is good, but you know, it's not, not nourishing and luxurious enough for me, like whereas this is. This, this brand is kind of like Sol de Janeiro, you guys. I'm telling you, like it gives me those vibes. Like it even has this like squeezy rubber bottles, just kind of like Sol de Janeiro. This one is, you guys, it's a, a body wash. They call it body cleanser. It's, it says brilliantly bright. So it's a brightening body wash for radiant skin. It has vitamin C and niacinamide and hyaluronic acid i thought wow that's awesome and it smells like pineapples it smells like pineapples and coconuts okay oh it smells heavenly this is absolutely awesome and it's you know in the shower you can tell you know you can feel the like that niacinamide and hyaluronic you can feel it you can feel your body your skin getting really nourished and cleansed and bright and all that stuff it's so good Highly recommend it. So from now on, my pineapple scents, I'm layering with that, okay? And then, by the way, I don't know what I was thinking. There's a body scrub version of this that I didn't get. I don't know why. I'm going to get that one too, by the way. And here is the other one. So this is also from Isle of Paradise. This is the body cleanser and this is the body polish. Like the scrub I was telling you guys guys about that one has a scrub too this one is a, it says with smooth skin it has lactic acid and um salicylic and mandelic acids like to polish exfoliate you know i think this is great for those people especially who tan their bodies in the summer you know how you need to scrub your body but anyway yeah amazing so this is the cleanser and this is the scrub I gotta tell you guys, like I said, I'm getting the scrub of this as well. This scrub gets the job done. It reminds me of like that First Aid Beauty AHA body scrub, that, that same texture, but that one stinks to high hell, as you guys know, it smells so bad. Now, this is like that, only better even, you know, like the consistency, and it smells like heaven. Now, this one smells like, what does this smell like? This smells also like fruitiness, like it smells fruity, okay? Yeah, this smells, actually this smells very similar to the Sol de Janeiro's Bandia Bright body wash, right? And here's the body polish. Oh my God, where have they been all my life? I'm layering my, my fragrances with that. Okay, like the fruity ones, the pineapple one with the pineapple ones. This is the Retinol 10% AHA, um, body uh, thing it's like a serum for the body and it has retinol you guys so this is basically you know how you put retinol on your face and it keeps your skin youthful and this one of course this is by the brand necessaire by the way you know how necessaire has the niacinamide body serum which everybody loves and now this is the retinol okay it's a body retinol basically so i thought it was a great idea like if retinol keeps your face skin on your face youthful then this is for the body, okay? We can't ignore the body. So anyway, um, let me see the consistency a little bit, but I haven't tried this yet. I am yet to put it to the test. Um, I would have to use it for like a month for, for, to be able to give you guys, oh, I can tell this is written all already. So by the way, if you use this, you shouldn't go in the sun the next day. If you like, let's say you stayed today, don't go in the sun the, the next day. Because retinol, as you can, as you know, makes your skin very sensitive. Make sure to wash it off, wait a day, wear sunscreen, and then go out. Now I have some Chanel items. This is a Chanel highlighter that I got. This is white opal. You guys, you know, I am crazy about Chanel highlighters. This one has that sort of um, like opal y kind of mother of pearl kind of pinky white shift so beautiful on the skin i don't know i don't know how to show you guys this like i'm probably gonna no i just i don't know i'm trying to find a place to put it on but i already have highlighter on yeah it's hard to to show you guys the the chanel highlighters are amazing this is the um limited edition face palette one of the two face palettes this spring it's a spring collection i believe yeah so here is the face palette for dark skin um, I got the dark skin version right here 
this is well this is the darker version out of the two not necessarily i don't think it's like so this the thing about this face palette you guys is that you can use them on the eyes and on the cheeks on the face okay so here is like the blush sash slash eyeshadow you can use it as an eyeshadow and then here is the highlighter it's the usual chanel highlighter formula it's almost a little too dark for me but i think i can get away with it using it now this right here can be used in my opinion as a blush or a um an eyeshadow or and oh or almost like a bronzer this one um, and this is also like a blush color, um, cheek color slash eyeshadow. Um, but anyway, it, it doesn't really tell you much with the swatch. This is something that I would have to use on my face and show you. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see a video on the Chanel items I got here from the spring collection. Here is the Chanel Ultra Tenue Liquid Duo. Um, I got one of these. I have a couple of these already. I got another one. So this is like the amazing thing about this is this a duo, obviously. Here is the lipstick color and they, they last like forever, you guys. And then especially if you put that on and then you go to the other end, which is the gloss side of it, and you put the gloss on top, it almost kind of locks it in. And this is very high shine and it stays on forever. Ever, like for a long time I mean not forever obviously but you know um, so I got another one of those and then I got another of the Chanel Coco Rouge Coco lipsticks you guys know I love the shades burst and alive they are the special type of shades with kind of metallic sheen so here's a new shade that I got apparently this also has that metallic sheen but I, it's not as prominent in this one. Ah, I can see it actually. This is kind of like a pinky peach with that metallic sheen that I love and adore so much. These Chanel Coco Rouge lipsticks are the bee's knees, you guys. I'm telling you, they are amazing. They just make your lips look pouty and juicy and just the quality is there it's unbelievable like it, it's like no like no other lipstick formula i've ever seen they are very special and then i got this coco allure shade in 99 this is like a classic shade this has been around a long time in this 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 formula it's like nothing special it's essentially a classic red a satin cream formula and it looks really beautiful. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like special in the way that I just told you about the uh, Rouge Coco, but it's a classic. It sells out a lot, the shade. So yeah, that's my latest beauty haul, the collective beauty haul. I got quite a few stuff. I feel like I forgot some stuff upstairs, but I'll include it in my next collective haul or next beauty haul i will link all the sales going on right now down in the description box all these items there were some gems in this haul that i really really love so yeah let me know down in the comment section your thoughts about the products in this haul i'll be doing a massive fragrance haul very soon here that i have a lot of new new releases especially that i'm excited to show you stay tuned for that i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel that black button down there if you haven't please do that because it helps me grow my community and bring you better content in turn and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i will see you guys in my next video <laughs>